Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to review the Boker Plus Rhino. Here we have the product code OT 02B0271. Oh, actually 02B0271. My apologies. Um, and here it is in the uh, the sheath. It comes with this integral um, lanyard, which is uh, quite nice. I think it's actually made out of uh, just empty. 550 paracord. I think it's this is actually 550 paracord, which is kind of cool. Um, and the empty stuff makes it uh, flatter and makes uh, the uh, braids tighter, so you get this nice square pattern, which I think is quite well done. And the uh, the lined um, lanyard hole, I think, is a nice touch. And it's, I believe, a full Kydex sheath um, designed here. I have no idea if this is actually designed for uh, a proper um, belt clip or not. That didn't come with one. Uh, but it, it, I think it's a little heavy to be using as a neck knife. It's it's not the lightest thing in the world. Um, it's a it's a fairly substantially thick um, handle here. Uh, one of the downsides to this particular design, before I get any further into this, is that um, oh, by the, there's a drain hole, which is a nice touch. Uh, is that this is very stiff. You cannot ramp this off in any way, shape, or form. This is definitely a two-hand pull. It takes a fair amount of strength to do that. But here you go. And here, this is the Rhino. It's got G10 scales. Um, it has a really nice shape. And it was the shape that attracted me. Um, I really like this. I realize it's not a Warncliffe, but it had a nice uh, section here, which was, you know, fairly straight. And then it had this, this decent belly. And I really like this bull nose, um, this bull nose look. I thought that was quite well done. Um, there's the Boker symbol. And it's a Vox design, V-O-X. Um, and it it is a a three finger hold. Um, this this here right here, you really do need that lanyard to help you give a little better grip. Um, but it does fit the hand um, quite nicely, and it's a really um, pleasant slicing motion with this. Um, it really is quite uh, comfortable, and it has a wonderful uh, overall just finish. It's really top quality. I was quite impressed by that. And on that, that mirror polish is just, that's really pleasant. And then in here you have a kind of a satin polish on the blade itself on the, on the, um, on the full uh, convex grind with a secondary bevel down here. And it came out of the box um, with a, a reasonable um, edge. I'm not saying it's shaving sharp, but it's quite nice. Um, full tan construction, uh, nice thickness in here got red liners which is a uh, which is also a nice touch the uh, G10 has been sculpted and it has kind of a primitive look to it and I and I, I gotta tell you I kind of like it um, I don't know if you can see that texture in there but I think it's quite nice um, I, I thought that was a nice touch yeah it had, does have a kind of a almost a home ground look to it but it it, it, it feels nice it has a nice grip to it um, it's not too aggressive but definitely gives you a nice purchase. Um, and overall, I think this is a very solid shape, and I think it's a good size. And I will be very honest with you, if this were in a sheath that allowed me to ramp this off, I would rig up a way to carry this, and I would carry this as an EDC. Unfortunately, there is no way to do that with this sheath. And I'm not talented enough at this point in my playing with Kydex career of modifying this sheath so that it will ramp off with one. I mean, it's not really even properly designed for being ramped off. If you look at that shape, there's not really a purchase here for your thumb to ramp it off with, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. And and pushing like that is very weak. You know, using your forefinger like that is just, is not to mention it puts your finger into a very dangerous location when you're doing that. At least if you're doing this, your, your thumb is completely safe. You're not going to hurt yourself in any way, shape, or form. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, this sheath is a good protection, no question about it, man, but it just, you can't take it off at one hand. And it takes an otherwise really nice design and makes it less useful because how am I going to carry this conveniently? Am I going to just keep it in my back pocket and pull it out and then it, like, it just, that's not, that's not really useful to me. That's not user friendly. That does not put this into the category of an EDC. But I will say that it is, in fact, a, uh, a pretty design, and I quite like the look, and I can't say I'm unhappy that it's in my collection.